What's up guys, it's your boy Zen. Uh, we are on day two of <clears throat> treadmills. Feel like, you know, instead of sitting around and doing a video, I'm gonna just exercise today. Uh, yeah. So far I just wanna thank people that are currently subscribed. Got 33 subscribers right now, going strong. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. Hopefully to get more. If you're not currently subscribed right now, please hit that like and subscribe for more content. And yeah, just enough. Doing a little treadmill today. Trying to stay in shape like always. It's summertime. As you can see behind me. There's definitely a pool out that way, and I want to get a six-pack <laughs> for the pool. I want to be like a gamer with a six-pack and abs, and like just be in shape and fit. Uh, how are you guys doing today? I'm having an okay day. It's an alright one, you know, I'm just... Like I said, I'm currently on the treadmill right now. Figured I had enough lying around doing nothing for the rest of the day that I uh, wanted to uh, go work out for a little bit. Uh, by the way, thanks for uh, thanks again for the advice on. Um, the headache treatment, the natural one, yeah, it actually helped out a lot. So thanks again to the friend that uh, sent me the advice on that one. Appreciate you. And uh, yeah. I think with my day off, I'm definitely gonna try and hit the museum, Tucson, and uh, see if I can like do a vlog or a video of me just exploring the Tucson Museum. Uh, on Wednesday or Thursday, I haven't decided yet. Definitely one of those days. Probably just gonna take you guys on a awesome adventure, the Tucson Museum. So have you guys ever had one of those moments in your life where you're just sitting there asking yourself what you're doing? What are you gonna do? Is this what you wanna do for the rest of your life? Uh, it, are you happy and satisfied with how your life is coming out and uh, how everything's going for you? I mean, personally, I'm speaking from experience, clearly. Like, I'm personally happy. Like, I love my life right now. I get to do awesome stuff like this with you guys. Like, this channel has shown me, I like, opened my mind to the fact that, dude, there's so much more to the whole being a YouTube creator and like, actually, doing stuff with people out there. There's actually people out there that want to watch my videos. There's actually people out there that like what I'm doing. And yeah, no, I'm happy about it. It's just, I guess I'm uh, impatient is all because I want to do more for this channel and for you guys. I want to like actually do a lot more. Like, I watch, I'm envious. I get to watch other, I, I, I watch other YouTubers and I'm like, hey, I wanna do that. I wanna 
go into a hot air balloon and then just bungee jump out of it. I want to conquer my fears of water. <laughs> I'm legit scared of water, by the way. I want to just do more. But I need a team, I guess, of like cameraman, uh, an editor. Because again, I'm just doing all this by myself right now. And yeah, I know that'll come with time, but like, I want it now. <laughs> like, I'm hungry for it now. I'm hungry for this adventure that I'm taking you guys on. I'm, I want it to grow. And like, actually do and be something amazing. Have you, have you guys ever felt like that too? Uh... Yeah, if you guys ever felt like, man, is what I'm doing, is it enough? Like, I'm happy where I'm at. Like, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm extremely happy with what I'm doing and how I got here. And the journey so far has been amazing. But, is it enough? Like, is it enough? Is it, do I, I need to do more? I need to keep hustling. Keep grinding every day, keep hustling every day, keep putting out content daily, keep trying and trying and trying my best. Like, <laughs> what's funny is um, it reminds me of uh, Pokemon, for instance. You know how Ash is just starting out with Pikachu, the first episode, and like theme song and how like it's, I wanna be the very best. Like no one ever was. That's that song. That part right there just keeps playing through my head over and over again. I want to be the very best. I want to be the best. I want to be one of the best. I I guess I'm analyzing Pokemon because it's like it's probably a hidden meaning to it. It's got to be. There's, I mean, to catch them and the real test to train them is, of course, catching them. Catching them is like catching life. Being able to, like, keep going at life. Perseverance. Keep trying and, like... And yeah, like the dude literally loses at everything. He, every major, he, he, he won the one big one on a, on a Hawaiian island. Finally, finally achieved his goal. But after so many setbacks, after so much failure, he could have quit, got a real nine to five job at a Pokemon freaking McDonald's. And just said, I'm done, Pikachu. I'm gonna use your electricity for the light bill, Charizard. I'm about to start, start charboiling some freaking Ditto burgers and Magic and Magic Heart fries. <laughs> and I'm done with this journey. You know, like he he could have really opened up a restaurant and actually be successful. But instead, he kept persevering. He kept trying. Every day he kept training. Every day he kept building more friendships and bonds. And every day he just kept going at it over and over and over again until he finally reached his goal. Mind you, the dude's freaking immortal in my opinion. Like, I mean, come on now. <laughs> like, he is freaking immortal. The dude was, he's like, a, what, 11? He's been 11 for like, 21 years, maybe 22. I started watching it when I was like nine. And he was 11 years old or 10 years old compared to me. I'm like 29 now, so he's obviously 30. The dude's got to be freaking 30. He should be a gym leader at this point. <laughs> he's the immortal 11 year old. It's cool. Ah. Let's see. 
Um, another one. One Piece. My boy Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy, wants to be king of the pirates. And yeah, he gets his butt handed to him, like, on a regular. Like, this new arc that just came out, he got his butt handed to him by Kaido. <laughs> and yet, he's just gonna unlock god tier stuff and become a god at this point. And so, I guess what I'm trying to say is, if you ever in your life are just stuck and just don't know where to go or what to do, keep moving forward. Eventually, you might hit a wall, and eventually, you might... What? No. Like eventually, you might come to the realization that am I doing enough in life? I need to do more. And if you ask yourself that, then yeah, keep going at it, dude. Keep persevering. Keep striving for greatness. Because I can promise you one thing from personal experience. You will always want to do better. If you have the mindset of, I'm gonna do better than I did yesterday. I'm gonna be better than I was yesterday. Then yeah, you will accomplish everything you want in life. And some days are rough, yeah. Some days you probably don't want to. Some days you just want to wake up and like, I don't want to do this. It sucks. It's annoying. It's stupid. It's repetitive. But other days, you're watching the climb start to go up. It's like a mountain. And you're like climbing up this mountain of positivity and mountain of life. And you're just climbing it. Or it's like a treadmill, <laughs> for instance. And, uh... You're just going and going, but eventually you want to stop because there's pain in your legs and you want to stop because you're starting to get tired and you want to stop because you're starting to get sweaty. Or you can just keep going at it, bud. Just keep going. Alright guys, I'm gonna end uh, my video on this, probably gonna do a couple more minutes on the treadmill before I post this. Uh, you guys have a good rest of your day, and uh, always stay positive at the end of it, no matter what happens. And this is Zen, peace.